Everyone is so excited for Christmas at the construction site, but there's still work to do. Today, they're building a pylon. But Mrs. Skip has plans for a Christmas tree. Wow! But Mr. Rubble says that there's no time for Christmas trees. They have work to do. Everyone is so disappointed. Soon, everyone is working hard on building the pylon. But what's Mrs. Skip up to? Oh! She started to make a Christmas tree in secret, but she needs a bit of help. Everyone is still hard at work. Oh, Diggly's telling Daisy about the secret Christmas tree. They're building it out of rubbish. It's a recycled Christmas tree. There's Bump and CJ. They can help too! Everyone's finding things they can recycle for the Christmas tree. Mr. Rubble wonders what everyone's up to. Some planks, green paint, the tree is really taking shape. Ornaments and a satellite disc for the star. Hooray! And the pylon is finished too. Good job, everyone. But Mr. Rubble wonders where everyone's got to. Yeah. Oh, he's found the secret tree. What's Mr. Rubble doing? Oh, he's helping. He's plugging in the lights. He's not angry. He's happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Diggly and Daisy doing some work on the farm. Uh-oh, clumsy Daisy has knocked over a bit of fence. It's Pablo Pig. Cheeky Pablo, he's going to escape the farm. Quick, catch him before he gets away. Go on, Diggly, you can do it. Look, Carlos the calf is sneaking out too. Behind you, Daisy. He's running. Hurry after that calf. Now Pablo's balancing on the fence. Ouch! Belly flop. Now he's off again. Whoa! Spinning round so much has made Daisy dizzy. Oh no! Now Dylan the duck is coming out. You've got to stop them, Daisy. Look out, Daisy. Ducks can swim, but you... Oh dear, those farm animals are really pesky. Pablo Pig is running into the wheat field. He must be hiding in here somewhere. There he is. And there's Litty Lamb too. After them, Diggly. Well done, Diggly. You caught Letty Lamb. Three more to go. That's still in the duck. And Carlos the calf too. Nice work, Daisy. Now you've caught Pablo too. All the animals are back safe and sound. Well done, Diggly and Daisy. With that fence repaired, they won't escape again. Today, Mr. Rubble has an exciting plan for the crew. Hang on, that's not the right plan. Aha! There it is. They're building a park. The crew are ready to get started. First, they need to knock down the old building. That's an easy task for Daisy. She's nearly finished knocking it down. Huh? What's that? Little frogs? Where did you come from? This park is their home. The crew can't build here. Where would the frogs live? Don't worry, gang. Bump has an idea. 
He's distracting Mr. Rubble. While Diggly and Daisy make some changes to Mr. Rubble's plan. They're building a new home for these five little frogs. Sorry, Mr. Rubble. First, Diggly is cleaning up the pond, making it nice and clean. The frogs look very happy about this. Next, they've got to lay some fresh grass. Whoa! Great teamwork, guys! Oh no! Mr. Rubble has realised their plan to add a pond. He's not happy. Well, well, well. He likes the changes after all. The park looks amazing. And the frogs love it. What a beautiful new home for some very cheeky little frogs. It's a summery day at Construction HQ. What's happening? Mr. Rubble seems very nervous. They're off on holiday to the beach. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Rubble was just tricking them. Diggly is building a sandcastle. Whoa! Daisy's sandcastle is huge. Diggly wishes his sandcastle was that big. Mr. Rubble is happily sunbathing. Oops! Who was that? It's Buster and Scout! They're on holiday too! Diggly is finishing off his new sandcastle. That's great, Diggly! Daisy asked Buster to help her build an even bigger one. Look out, Mrs. Skip! Oops! Wow! Look at that! Their castle even has a moat! Diggly and Scout think they can do better. Wow! That's amazing! Hang on a second. Looks like the tide is coming in. It could ruin their sandcastles. Quick, everyone! They need to work together to build a wall. Mr. Rubble is fast asleep. The tide! Quick! Oh no! Mrs. Skip! Watch out! Phew! They're okay! What an eventful day at the beach! It's a new day on the construction site. Oh dear! Bump is so slow! He's going to be late! Mr. Rubble doesn't like it when people are late. Today they're going to build a sand pit. How exciting! Diggly has dug the hole in no time at all. Oh dear, it takes Bump a long time to get anywhere. Now they just need to fill the hole with sand. But oh dear, Bump has to go all the way over there to get it. Bump looks very gloomy. Everyone is so much faster than him. But what's this? Diggly has an idea. Oh, he's making some changes to Bump's engine. Now Bump is so much faster. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Uh-oh. Bump is speeding around out of control. Look out for that pile of dirt. Oh dear. Poor Bump. He's just not designed to go fast. Diggly is going to change him back. Later on, Diggly and Daisy are trying to load the sand into the sand pit. But it's taking them forever. But wait. With his big scoop, Bump can do that in no time. He may not move fast, but he can move things faster than anyone else. Nice work, Bump. 
<laughs> He's very useful just the way he is. <laughs> it's a brand new day at Construction HQ. All the vehicles are excited to get to work. I wonder what they're building today. Whoa! A pancake shop! Oh dear. Diggly doesn't look his usual happy self. I wonder what's wrong. Oh no! Diggly is sick! He can't work today. He'll have to stay home. Time to start work. The first thing to do is dig the foundations. But without Diggly, how will they dig? That's not working at all. Daisy can't dig the way Diggly does. Maybe this drill will help. Oops! Mud is going everywhere and Daisy can't keep the drill still. This isn't working either. Oh dear, oh dear. Diggly is watching from HQ. He really wants to help, but he's still feeling sick. Here's Mrs. Skip with some medicine. That should help. Back on the building site. They still haven't dug the foundations. Oh dear. Splat! Wait, this plank of wood throws dirt into the air. Like a spade. Maybe they can use this to dig the foundations. Yes, it works! Good work, Daisy. She's found a way to dig in her own way, in no time at all. There, the pancake shack is finished. Aww, Daisy has brought some pancakes to Diggly to make him feel better. What a good friend. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's the construction crew. They're finishing their work on a new tunnel. Oh, what's that sound? There's been a huge explosion down the mountain. Look, huge rolling snowballs. It's an avalanche. CJ tells the other workers to get inside the tunnel for safety. Dozer pushes Johnny in, there's no time to waste. Diggly rushes to Daisy and tells her to get into the tunnel. The two get in just in time and the snow crashes down behind them. It's really dark in the tunnel. Diggly grabs a lantern and goes to investigate the snowed in entrance. It looks too thick to dig through. Even Johnny can't dig through it. Diggly starts investigating the rest of the tunnel. He can spot something up ahead. There are some train carriages on the tracks. The tracks lead deeper into the tunnel. Diggly thinks that they can get on the train and escape out the other end of the tunnel. The construction crew have all jumped on the train. Dozer is nervous to be at the front. Johnny gives them a push and they're off! Whoa! It's like a giant roller coaster! Look at them go! Whoosh! This looks like fun! Uh oh! There is a snow blockage that they're going to crash into! Construction crew burst through the snow. They're outside and safe. Good job, Diggly and Dozer.